two rows up. Two parter, Scotty. Being in the same kind of, I guess, management stable, were you surprised by Brooks's decision? And and secondly, do you have any any concerns about about uh, the immediate future of the tour? So, I'll start with the Brooks thing. That was definitely a surprise for me. Um, you know, I was at a function with him last week, and definitely wasn't what we, he had in mind. You know, we were focused on building the PGA Tour and getting the guys that are staying here together, and um, you know, kind of just having talks and figuring out what how we can, you know, help benefit the tour. And so to see Brooks leave was definitely a surprise for us. Um, you know, with that being said, he's made his decision. I'm not going to, you know, knock him for doing that. He made a decision that's best for him, and I'm not, I'm not going to be one to judge him on that. Um, for me, it's, it's not where I see myself heading anytime soon. I, I grew up wanting to be on the PGA Tour. I grew up of dreaming of playing in these events. I didn't grow up of, in playing in the Centurion Club in London or whatever it is or in... Um, I grew up wanting to play in the Masters. I grew up wanting to play in Austin. I grew up wanting to play at Colonial, the Byron Nelson. I wouldn't trade those memories for, for anything at this moment in time. Um, those memories to me are invaluable. I would never risk going and you know losing the opportunity to bring go back to Augusta every year or to do any. There, there's nothing that I would want to do right now that would would risk having any any sort of effects on, on way, the way my life is now. And the second part of your question, concerns for the tour. Um, I think most of the guys are still have a lot of faith in what the tour is doing. The tour is doing everything in their power to make it the best tour for all the players out here. And I think we get behind Jay as our leader and um, just kind of figuring out what's best for the tour. I think we released something today about some new events and new bigger purses. And right now the best players in the world are still on the PGA Tour. Um, the guys on top of the leaderboard last week were on the PGA Tour. Canada was one of the coolest events that I'd been to, and it was my first time up there. And being able to play in front of the crowds and have those, you know, really euphoric moments where you're actually able to make a putt to win a tournament, like finishing out the Masters and becoming number one in the world in Austin are memories that I could never, ever come close to replacing with, with an amount of money. And so for me, I'm not looking – towards anything being able to take that away from the guys that have chosen to stay out here on tour. What's going on off the golf course has been dominating the conversation. Anytime you come in here, you're going to get asked about it. I'm curious if the conversations are similar on the range, in the house, during practice rounds. Or are you guys not as um, into this on a minute-to-minute -minute basis? Well, first, firstly... Up until today, I had two questions the entire year about live golf, literally. And one of them was off camera. And the second one, I kind of put my foot in my mouth a little bit in Canada. And so now I feel like I'm a bit more prepared to answer questions about it. But at home, yeah, we talk about it. Um, it's definitely interesting. You know, you have this, this government and the investment fund doing all these things to try and kind of attack our tour. Um, and some guys are going and some guys aren't. It's, you know, it's, it's definitely – confusing for us as players there's, you know, there's just a lot going on and so at home um not much discussion definitely on the range there's a little bit but at the end of the day you know if guys are going to want to go they can they can leave and like i said i'm not going to sit here and judge them for that it's it's up to them they're going to make their decision and they know what's best for them i don't know what's best for their lives and um at the end of the day that's probably hopefully that's always going to be my position i don't want to be getting in anybody else's business